occasion, this is something you well deserve. Marion and I wish we could be there to help you and your friends celebrate. It is hard to believe that we have been friends for over 60 years. The other thing that is amazing is that you are one of the few persons who have been able to spend 80 years involved with the same activity. Someone ought to check with the Guinness Book to see if that is in some sort of record. Marilyn and Marion. This is from Tim Mariner, who, uh, by the way, presented Al with the latest award that he got, the gold card. He, came, he made a special trip all the way down to Miami to present it to Al recently. And uh, he says, hi, Jack, sure wish I could be there for the event. I'm sure he will love the party. Dear Al, it is an honor to be able to call you a friend and colleague. Your leadership and skills encouraged hundreds of others to walk in your path of entertaining thousands of dancers around the world. You will always be one of the top mentors of our, acti of our activity. So on this day of celebration, I want to wish you a very happy birthday. Thank you so much. Best regards, Tim Mariner. Here is a, another long one, which I'm going to read uh, in full. This is from Jim Mayo, um, who is writing this, and this one, our age club, started by his mother in the 1930s. By the time I first met him in 1950, he was one of New England's best known callers, both locally and across the nation. Al was the one who led New England into modern square dancing just as it began. He attended Pappy Shaw's Summer Institute in 1949 and returned home to start classes and clubs to dance in a new way. I first danced to Al at his Saturday night traditional dances in his country barn in Stepney, Connecticut. The Pioneers Trio Orchestra played great music and the dances were very much the same every Saturday. The crowds filled the hall that Al had built with the help of friends. He started teaching callers about the same time at a once a month Sunday class. Even though Ralph Page had coaxed me through my first calling experience, it was Al who helped me become a caller. He was a leader in every way and shared his knowledge and experience with many who would become leading callers. I should have known enough not to stand in front of a speaker with an open microphone. Anyway, we thank you all, really, and I thank uh, Jack and Eileen Lewis for uh, putting uh, this together, starting it, and inviting people. And I am so pleased that you've all come. Uh, my breathing is off, but so I won't make a very long talk at all, not at all. Uh, he, uh, I, I, I appreciate your, your uh, sticking with square dancing. It's, it's the greatest thing. And people, some people come up and say, why, why, what is my secret of looking young? And that is thinking square dancing, dancing square dancing, and trying to promote square dancing in every way. And that'll do it to you. So keep at it, and thanks again for coming.